hello everyone welcome back to the new video on backup x16 and uh, today i'll show you how you can configure a deduplication storage device on your managed backup x server so if you have been following this track in the first video we upgraded our media server to a central admin server and then after that we added a managed backup x server to our central admin server which was server 2016 and what we'll do is that uh, we'll configure a dedupe drive on the server so in order to do that, uh, I'm on the management console on the CAS server and uh, to configure the storage, you select the server 2016 and you select the button for configure storage. Select next and it is going to be a disk based storage and uh, you select the deduplication disk storage. You give the name. and uh, then you have to give the destination. So we'll be using the C drive. It is generally not recommended that you have your backup destination on the uh, in, in a place where you have your operating system, but this for the demo, so we'll select next. And in order to create a deduplication storage device, you cannot use a system login account. So what I have done is that I have created another account, but if you're doing it for the first time, you can hit add and you can create a new account. Uh, but since I have already created, now you have the option of enabling the encryption over here, but uh, I'll leave this to the default. But if you want, you can change it later on. And uh, you can increase the number of concurrent operation. By default, it is two. I'll increase it to four. And you'll get a brief summary. You finish it. And you'll get a uh, message over here that you don't have the requirements to run a deduplication disk storage, but with because it's a demo, I'll ignore this one. And uh, the process for creating the dedupe drive has been initiated. Now, from the licensing side, uh, you got to have the deduplication licensing in case you're using the backup exec uh, uh, capacity based complete edition. The dedupe license come already with that one, but in case you're using the a la carte or the traditional method, you can make or you can purchase the deduplication licensing separately too. Now this process will take a little bit of time, so what I'll do is that I'll pause the video and I'll be back. So our deduplication drive is up and running now. As you can see, the state is in online. And if I go over here and uh, what I can do is that uh, I can always change the properties. I can go into the details and uh, as you can see that uh, we kept the concrete operations to uh, 4 and uh, we disabled the encryption but if you want you can uh, enable the encryption over here too. By default the client side deduplication is enabled but you can disable also from here. So this is a way of creating the dedupe drive. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.